The Coon Hall construction really revolves around uh, enhancing the resiliency uh, capacity of Fort Meade to care for soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardsmen and their families and connects uh, families and service members to the five pillars of, of resiliency. So what we do there is uh, we have a staff member there every day to answer questions uh, and really get to the kind of uh, the how of resilience. And so what our staff member there does is connect uh, customers or clients with services on or off post, uh, either through a referral process or a warm handoff whereby they will call, a, call an organization, office or agency and say, hey, I have a, a customer here uh, I'd like to send over. Can you see him now? Should we make an appointment? Whatever the case may be. So there's a number of uh, services. First, uh, we have a military family life counselor who uh, one of those is uh, in the building. Also, we can connect folks to the Army Wellness Center or to behavioral health if they like, or uh, even financial counseling or employment counseling that we offer uh, at ACS. Because it's like a forward operating base, a satellite office where it's, it's one more option for people to connect to services, uh, one more way for us to engage with the community uh, and really get to the, the foundation of resilience, which is life skills. Well, some of the biggest questions we get is, how do I start my education journey? Uh, especially with our new young, young soldiers, um, they want to know their goals. A lot of times the goals are to go to college, uh, either come in and serve for money for college and then go after they're done, or they want to further their education while they're in the service. So they want to figure a way to make that, meet that goal and meet that journey. Right now we have two um, schools in the building. We have Anne Arundel Community College, located downstairs. Um, of course, it's a two-year program. Uh, and also we have University of Maryland Global Campus, which is pretty well wide known. Um, they have classes, um, they will be having classes uh, starting the first of the year uh, in the building. Um, they'll be giving entry level courses, some upper level, upper level courses. Right at the moment, University of Maryland Global is processing a, a program where they can start doing some graduate courses also. I want to know, I'd like to let them know that this building is widely open for them to come in not just for education purposes, we want them to do that, but we also have what we call a multi-learning facility in the building, and that's just like an own in-based library. So if they need to come in and do studies, just we have a room upstairs can house um, you know, 10 to 12 people um, for study purposes. Um, they need to work on pulling the LDSs, we have computers up there for them to do that, to print, um, to work on any type of online classes for security clearances or something like that. That, those opportunities are available for them to do in this building. Um, also, when our testing center is up in operation, which will be here shortly, um, they are able to come in and do AFCT tests, uh, defense language tests, uh, any the SIF, um, any of those type of examinations that can further their career, they definitely can do it here.